Hey everyone, welcome to today's reading. This one is going to be for divine soulmate connections where there is a karmic partner or a karmic situation. I will be doing the reading as if it is on the masculine side, but as I always say, you can always take those messages and apply them to yourself if you feel like they resonate with you. And that is because we all have both masculine and feminine energies, okay? so. A lot of times you might find that some of the energies it's like vice versa or that's how it can feel like and that's the reason so yeah getting right into this because um, I just did another reading yesterday so again I don't feel like I have much to say other than um, this is general so of course it won't be everybody's situation um, if you would like a personal reading, then you can get more specific information for your situation and you can find all the information about that in the description box or you can email me if you have any questions. And I am still offering cord cutting sessions. I have made a couple of posts on my community page and I actually will be making more. Um, and definitely let me know if you guys have any questions. I would love to make some extra posts, maybe just talking about cord cutting and the benefits and what exactly it is. So yeah, definitely let me know. Um, and I think that's it. So yeah, let's get into it. We will be looking at the masculine's energy towards their karmic partner. Of course, you can take the messages and apply them towards a situation if it's not a partner. Um, and then we will look at the masculine's energy towards their feminine and possibly a little bit of what's going on with the feminines and also what is coming up. All right, so let's see, for the masculines, let's get a couple oracle cards. What is going on? Oh, okay, we have two. We have financial constraints and we have a strategy. So what I always say when it comes to financial constraints, all right, with this card is that it doesn't have to be restricted to financial issues. This can be anything that is just practical, all right, in the 3D, like um, even just work related or figuring out um, little practical issues like distance or just anything. <clears throat> so masculines are, okay, so here's what I'm getting. Um, they're very much aware of certain constraints, right? If in terms of walking away from the karmic, um, it's like they're, they're thinking about a strategy or like a potential strategy and just like going around and around almost like in circles in their minds about how they could go around them. Kind of like the way I'm getting this is like just kind of playing with the idea. Like what if I did it this way? Could this work? Or what if I did it that way? Could that work? Let's see what else. And we have resistance. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much what I was getting here. It's like, yeah, going, when I said going around in circles, I'm like thinking about, you know, if I do it this way, can it work? Or maybe if I do it that way, maybe that could work. And then it's like, there's this resistance to it, right? But, but the ideas are there. It's almost like they're being given the solutions to some of these um, challenges or blocks that they have in terms of, you know, moving in the direction that their heart is calling them. They're being given that and there's a little bit of resistance to that. And that's why I was picking up on them kind of just playing around with the idea. Let's see what else. We'll just get a few more and then we'll get into the tarot. So what else is going on with the masculines? Why is there this resistance? Okay. So we have fear, ascending, and devotion. Okay. So this is good because we have the ascending card, right? Um, for some of them, this could be very, very literal, very specific. Having a fear of how devoted they actually feel deep down, so to the point where they resist it, okay? And 
I mean towards towards their feminine, right? So there's a fear of that. However, we do have the ascending card. So they are moving away from that fear. This is something that they are slowly but surely overcoming, okay? And moving towards devotion. So it's kind of like it's kind of like a fear fear versus devotion like where i feel devoted so it's like two two opposites here right and right smack in the middle we have ascending so that's why they're moving from this energy of fear towards where they feel devoted deep down um it's not easy all right fear is a big one fear is not an easy um concept or emotion to overcome but I again I do feel like they're getting this assistance from the divine at the moment like more so than other times I feel like it comes in spurts and then um and then the masculine has a chance to you know kind of process that and then make choices with their free will based on the um pushes or the signs or downloads that they get from the divine all right and then so they have that chance they make their choices and then the divine comes back and gives them another push so I feel like right now they're in that being pushed phase to really move away from that fear and move towards the devotion and to release that resistance to the solutions to the strategies that are being given to them in terms of their practical um, blocks, right? Which really is just excuses to stay with the karmic. Um, and again, it's based in fear. Okay, so that was a big message. And it's actually pretty related to, um, to a conversation I just had with one of my viewers actually in a brief email exchange. So, and I was wondering if that was going to present itself. Um, in this reading because um, <laughs> I really felt like when I had that conversation I felt guided to to share it to share it with the rest of you because it's it was just some interesting points that came up so we'll see as we go along but what I just said right now was actually a part of it about the masculines making choices based on their free will so then b b um, based on what choices they made, the divine will orchestrate events, right? So when we say that something is divinely orchestrated, it's oftentimes like just now orchestrated based off of what choices they made. So if they had made different choices, then something else would have been orchestrated. So it's pretty interesting. That was, um, I think that was half of the message that I got. And then, um, yeah, we'll see about the other half later in the reading if it comes up. And if it doesn't, I'll just tell it to you guys at the end if I remember. Okay, so let's see the masculine's energy towards their karmic partner or situation. Okay, so when we say karmic partner, because I know some of you ask me this, um, it's it's a person that we have karma with. We also have karma, you know, even with the twin flame or divine counterpart. Um, but when we say karmic partner, we are referring to someone where it's not a divine soulmate connection in the sense of that's not where our souls want to end up in this lifetime. Okay, that's just my interpretation of it. Of course, other people can have different interpretations. So it's just more of um, a term of convenience, just to distinguish between the divine soulmate and someone else all right um or someone else that we do have karma with and so we are in that relationship for a particular reason to learn certain lessons or to balance out certain karma okay all right so we actually have the ten of cups the six of swords in reverse and the ten of wands okay so interesting combination here so yeah overall it does feel like the masculines here with the ten of cups you know this is a connection where you know they feel like okay you know what there is some kind of happiness here. There is happiness here. There is love here. Or for some of them, this could just be representing family or feeling that bond with this person as a family, okay? So if 
that doesn't resonate with you and your situation, this might not be your reading, okay? Because it is the first card out and it is upright. Um, this is why the masculine is currently not not moving away. But what I'm actually getting with this is that it's almost like the masculines want to avoid any avoid any conflict or not wanting to create conflict, wanting to keep things peaceful, but they're not. They're not moving towards peace. It's like they're they're still in this situation where yeah, you know, there is something positive in this situation that they are in. And that could even be something that you that you know you the divine feminine are not even aware of and it could be i don't know what it could be i can't think of an example right now but it, but it could be anything you know no matter how negative you think that the situation is there is something here that to them appears like it could possibly be happy at least so ten of wands following that um, I feel like the fact that they're not letting go of this idea of happiness is getting really, really heavy on them because it's not, it's not real happiness. And we will clarify, but let's just see what else. Let's get a couple more rows. Let's see what's going on in their headspace. All right, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. Again, very interesting con uh, conversation, <laughs> combination here. Um, I do like that we have this Eight of Swords in reverse because I actually also like that we have this Ace of Cups because I feel like it's really in line with this Ten of Cups where um, like this particular group of masculines, they're in a situation again, where there is some happiness, all right? There is, and if it's not like 100% happiness, it's something positive, all right? It's like there is some kind of love here. And again, it could be referring to family um, for those who might have families. And if not, then, you know, it's that they have, they love this person as a person, all right, so they're getting out of their head though. With the Eight of Swords being in reverse, um, again, this is also in line with the fact that, what I said before, about getting those strategies, getting those messages from the universe for how to untrap themselves, how they can overcome certain obstacles. So it's like in their heads, they know they're not trapped because the solutions are somehow being presented to them. So for some of them, this could even be like intuitively, right? Like just getting the ideas like implanted in their minds. And for others of them, it, it could even be more practical, like events just happening where it's like a solution just presents itself. You know, like, um, like if money was the issue, you know, all of a sudden they get a promotion. Or um, if there was some kind of a debt, you know, somehow that debt is, is cleared. You know, things like that um, just happening to get them out of, you know, whatever whatever situation was keeping them tied. So it's kind of like, well, no more excuses now, you know? <laughs> what, what does the masculine do? Oh, resistance, let me find another excuse, right? Um, possibly. And one of those excuses is, yeah, but, you know, I don't want to break up the family. But, yeah, but, you know, maybe the other person, you know, isn't going to be happy without me. Right, so things like that. Um, but what I'm also getting with this Ace of Cups, though, for what's going on in their head is that, you know, they're beginning to put themselves first because the Ace of Cups also represents self-love first and foremost. So beginning to put themselves first. And so now they're realizing their own needs and their own happiness and that staying in this particular quote-unquote Ten of Cups it's not giving them peace. It's actually very, very heavy. So that creates stress in the Nine of Swords. So it's almost like they're actually feeling stress and anxiety for two reasons. Number one, because 
suddenly they're finding solutions to all of their excuses. And number two, they're beginning to love themselves more. So the more that they love themselves, the more that they want to move towards their true happiness, right? It's the ascending, moving towards their devotion. And that's scary. That brings them closer to actually walking away. So let's see what's going on with them emotionally. This is a masculine who just wants to be happy. This is a masculine who just wants a happy family, who just wants a loving relationship. Um, they're just not finding it where they are. All right, so for their emotional space, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse, the Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords. Okay, so not really any lovey-dovey cards here. The lovey-dovey cards were just, you know, for different, for different issues, for different areas. When it comes to their emotions, there are no lovey-dovey cards. Um, they're feeling like they're not living their truth, like it's not authentic with the Ace of Swords being in reverse, especially, I mean, look at this, the Ace of Swords right under the Eight of Swords in reverse and right under that Ten of Cups. Um, it's not authentic. They're feeling like this connection is more of a working relationship or possibly even a friendship or that, you know, maybe there is just some kind of mutual interest or something like that with the Three of Pentacles. This is the card that's all about teamwork, right? So, you know, maybe they have some contracts together or like, you know, some... Um, like they've co-signed for something together, things like that. Or they have found some kind of a way, you know, to just make things work in the practical. But there's, there's conflict here with this Two of Swords. There's incompatibility emotionally. And so the masculine is a little bit at a... Um, kind of like in this dilemma in their minds or in their hearts and their emotional space of, you know, well, I'm feeling, because this is the emotional space, I'm feeling like this isn't authentic. It doesn't represent my truth. But then, you know, we have this friendship, like, you know, we have this way of working certain things out. Um, or, you know, we are, I mean, this could even be like co-parenting or just, you know, anything, maybe, you know, paying off a loan together, whatever. Or just helping each other out um, in daily routines or daily things where it just kind of works. So, um, no, I don't even really feel like this needs to be clarified, but I will, just a couple especially the first two rows. So let's see that first row with that Ten of Cups. All right, and we have the Page of Cups in reverse. Let me get one more. And we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're feeling like this isn't really moving. Um, when it comes to their emotions, like I said, you know, yes, there's this idea of like happiness or, you know, maybe, you know, this is, I want happiness. It's not here. Their emotions are not here. This is not where they can find their Ten of Cups. Um, it's not, it's just not heading anywhere with the, with the Knight of Pentacles being in reverse. And again, I feel like this is also related to the strategy where it's like that resistance to the strategy. And it's like the more that they resist that strategy, the more that they resist um, the Six of Swords, right? Because it's in reverse, the heavier it gets and the heavier the load is and the more burden that they feel. So, and this is something that they're coming to realize because they're being presented with the solutions. And that can be quite stressful. It's kind of like, this kind of reminds me of like a phase 
that the feminines can sometimes go through. Not saying that you all have been through this phase um, and not saying that you all should go through this phase, all right? Um, but some feminines go through a phase where, you know, they begin to feel like, you know what, I don't, I don't know if I really want my masculine anymore. And that is scary. It's like, wait, I don't, but I want to want them because that's what I have wanted all this time. And I know how good it could be. And, you know, it's just kind of like that. It's like feeling like you can actually make it without your masculine. And then that thought being um, a little bit intimidating. So I feel like this is kind of like what the masculine is going through in a little bit of a different way, right? Because this isn't even where they really want to be. Um, but because they feel like they're getting so much closer to feeling like this is something that they can do to walk away from the karmic, it can be intimidating and it can cause stress because now they see that they can actually do it, but they're not really trapped. There are solutions. So let's see, let's try to find a second wheel. And we have the Two of Pentacles in reverse and we have the Two of Swords in reverse. Two twos, both in reverse. It's like they don't even want to have to deal with with whatever things are beginning to feel more manageable especially you know with these solutions again that's what they're <laughs> see. like the two of pentacles upright would have been you know there's just so much to manage it's so overwhelming there's so much i don't know how to balance this out i don't know how to do this and this and this and that Right, but it's in reverse because the, the, like I said, the solutions are being presented to them. And so because the solutions are being presented to them, again, two of swords out in reverse. D where's the dilemma then? Where's the dilemma? Right, and this is all related to them having more self-love as well. But again, it creates that stress because, wait, if I'm not in the dilemma, then... That means I have to, you know, actually take action. But as long as I'm in the dilemma and I haven't made a choice, you know, it's comfortable because I haven't gone completely this way and I haven't gone completely that way. And that's comfortable. Because I can just sit and decide later. Once you make the decision, it's stressful. So it's kind of like they're, they're kind of like at that point, at least this masculine. Okay, so... Okay, that was a lot, it feels like. Um, let's move on to the masculine's energy towards their feminine. So, masculine's energy towards their feminine currently. What is going on? Nine of Swords in reverse, death, and temperance. Interesting combination again. <laughs> Masculines are going through some interesting energies, it seems like. Okay. Give me one sec here. This is really interesting. Okay, so the masculine is actually feeling like there might be an ending with their feminine. For whatever reason, it doesn't even matter. It could be because of something that they did. It could be because of something that the feminine is doing. It could be because of something you're both doing or just whatever. It's interesting because the idea of that, of the fact that, you know what? Maybe this is done. You know, maybe maybe I'm never going to be with my feminine. That actually gives them a sense of relief. But that's not a bad thing. All right? Temperance at the end here. That's actually very healing. And the message that I'm getting right now is that... Okay, hold on. Um, it's actually a good thing because that gives them space. 
feeling like, you know what, I don't have to rush, I don't have to worry about what my feminine is doing because it's done anyway, that gives them the space and the peace to do whatever it is that they need to do over here with the karmic. Right? To, to be able to walk away but without feeling that pressure. If anything, they feel a sense of peace. They, it gives them a sense of balance and that whatever decision they end up making, it will be because of their own self-love for themselves and not because they feel like they need to be rushed, like they need to make it in time for the feminine or um, because even, even because of the love that they have for the feminine, even the, even if, you know, maybe that is a legitimate reason, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. That's not the point. The message here is that they need that space. And so them feeling like it is done, it gives, it's like, it gives them a, a break. Like it gives them like this breath of air where they can then actually, you know, have this opportunity to follow the strategies that are being given to them without feeling pressure and that they're doing it for themselves not for their feminine so i hope that made sense i actually think that we've gotten a message like that before so let's see what's going on in their headspace Four of Swords in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse, and the Page of Wands. Well, okay, so even if they feel like this is done with you it, and they're feeling that sense of relief, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are over you. Clearly, they are not. Okay, this is... Um, this is not a connection where they can just be over you. They're just feeling that sense of relief temporarily and just enough, just enough so that they can have that space to work through these strategies in terms of making a decision for leaving the karmic partner, okay, or the karmic situation. Other than that, though, no, they have not recovered from this connection and I don't think they will. There will always be this longing and there will always be this magnetism and there will always be this push, right, towards their feminine. So they are aware of this. They are aware of this. This isn't something that is repressed. But at the moment, they're also feeling like, you know, they're just not in a position, king of wands in reverse, um, to really pursue the feminine. I feel like they're actually just allowing themselves to go into this sense of, okay, you know what, like putting that aside for now, um, it's done. And then, and then they have that space. It's very similar to also like what we say for the feminine, right? Um, you know, to just release, release. That's what the masculine is doing. And I do have a feeling that um, a lot of you that this might resonate with, you're probably in that space or you've um, worked a lot in terms of being in that space of releasing. And because masculines and feminines, they affect each other, this is also why the masculine is able to release you in that way. And that shouldn't be scary to you, okay? It's a good thing. Um, we do have the page of wands, see, so that there is that part of them in their mind, you know, that is still curious, that is still, you're still there, you're still there in their mind, they're still thinking about you. Let's see what's going on with them emotionally. They feel like they just need to take it one step at a time. And right now, the step that they are in is, okay, you know what? Some kind of 
cycle is complete with the feminine. Focus on my strategy here and on the solutions. Okay, and we have, ooh, okay, Ace of Swords in reverse in the exact same position that they have the Ace of Swords in reverse for their karmic partner. Um, the Five of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so emotionally, they're, they're not in a very good place. Just overall. Um, again, they feel like they're not living their truth. They're not living authentically. Well, because they're not with you, right? They're not living authentically with the karmic partner. They're not living authentically without their divine feminine. Um, again, five of wands, it's, I feel like, I feel like it's a very similar message, like them just feeling more calm, right? Like just releasing the back and forth conflict that they had within, within themselves and even emotionally like the roller coasters or, you know, the internal arguing between the mind and the heart. I feel like they're releasing that or they're just kind of putting it to the side and it's because they're, they're finding this balance. Right. But there is still some confusion here um, emotionally because and it's confusing even for us. Well, <laughs> I assume it's also confusing for you um, listening to this reading because it's just such a mixture of things. So it's like it's the same for them. It's confusing to them, these feelings, because, like I said, they're not over you. Right. They're never going to be, and I, I feel they know that. That's why we have this Page of Wands upright. Um, but then they're also feeling a sense of relief with with this ending. So even to them, it's confusing. Like, how? why am I feeling relieved if I still have all these emotions, if I'm still not over this, and I'm not going to be? So... Um, I mean, I can give an example and I hope that you guys will understand this and not like, and that I won't be like misunderstood or misinterpreted, but it's kind of like, um, kind of, it's not even really like this, but it's kind of like when a loved one passes who may have been very old in age um, and, you know, may have also been a little bit tired, maybe even ill. And even though, you know, we really, really love this person so much and we don't want to see them go, but at the same time, there can also be a part within us that feels a sense of relief and then we can feel guilty about that, of course. Um, and we can't understand it because we didn't want them to pass. We love them. We want them in our lives, right? We're going to miss them. But we might also feel a, a bit of relief, okay, in that kind of a situation. <laughs> Um, so it's like, yes, these two feelings can coexist. Obviously here it's different. It's different, but that was just an example of how these two can coexist. So yes, the masculine is feeling that relief and it's because it's giving them that space and they don't feel the pressure, but they do still have those feelings, the emotions, the call, nothing has changed in the connection. So in terms of emotions, right? And in terms of love, let's see, what do we want to clarify? Again, I don't really feel like anything really needs to be clarified. Um, but just for the sake of <laughs> clarifying, I guess, and for any of you who might have any, I don't know, further questions, let's just clarify that top row. Let's just get one. And we got the Ten of Cups upright in the first row, just like we had for, for the Karmic. Um, also had the King of Swords flip over. Yeah, see, so they know that this is their happiness. They know that even though there's an ending and even though that there's a relief, it's actually 
bringing them into balance. It's actually balancing something out, even if they can't explain it, even if it creates confusion for them. So it's like here, it's like this perceived happiness or what I thought could be happy or just, you know, I just want to be happy. And then here, it's knowing that this is my happiness, right? We also have temperance as the final card in this row, whereas for the karmic partner, we have the ten of wands. Like it's, it's this happiness is burdensome. This happiness comes with balance. All right, um, let's, see the, let's see the bottom now. Just anything that wants to come through to clarify the bottom row. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so with this, this what, what I was saying about them not living authentically, it's because they don't have this Nine of Cups. They don't have this emotional fulfillment. That it's missing. It's lacking. It's lacking from their lives. And so this is also part of, of the confusion. Like, you know, how can I feel this relief, but then also feel like my wish fulfillment or my, my emotional fulfillment is lacking. They'll figure it out. They're, they'll figure it out because they are sending towards their towards where their hearts are devoted. Um, okay, so I, f I actually feel like this was quite a lot this time. I feel like there were so many messages in this. So I'm actually not going to get too much into the um, feminine's energy. I think I just want to pass on the message that I got earlier in that conversation that I was telling you about in the beginning. So the second part of that message was that a lot of times the masculines, you know, can make choices that seem like they make no sense. And in actuality, they don't make sense. They don't make sense, right? Um, but a lot of the times, the reason why, or one of the reasons why they might make those choices is because there's also a lesson in it for the feminine. And a big part of that lesson is to release control. So your masculine might be doing things where you're just like, what the hell are they doing? Like, that makes no sense. But that's actually something to help to make you release control, to be like, all right, I can't deal with this, you know, or to push you further into your healing. So I feel like that's that's message here for the um, for the feminines. So I'm not going to actually pull any cards for the feminines. <laughs> we'll just get some final oracle messages. Actually, let me use this deck and close out the reading. So let's see. So just to be clear, I'm not saying that that's the only reason why the masculines would make some choices that are <laughs> irrational or however you want to label them, there's definitely something in it for them as well, all right? And then the, the divine will always then orchestrate something to continue the lessons and to continue to help both of us, masculines and feminines, move towards our higher path. All right, so uh, the first card that we have here is the rejuvenating rain. Clear the past, heal the present. So yeah, I do feel like that's a big part of what's happening here for the masculines. Also take this for your own self if it resonates. All right, clearing the past and healing the present. These two are related. We can oftentimes heal the present by clearing the past. So in other words, actually healing things from the past. All right, and let's get one more. And we have time for a nap. <coughs> so yeah, this is definitely um, a message for the feminines here. You know, either to release control, just sit back, you know, allow events to unfold. Um, and, you know, because maybe the masculine is also keeping their distance from you. It, and it might appear like they're just taking a nap, <laughs> right, from the situation. They are not. They are not. It's everything that I explained up here, especially with that first row, right? Um, allowing this just to, to be an ending for now, which is a big part of the lesson, both for the masculine and the feminine. 
So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, please do give me a thumbs up if you like this reading, if it resonated with you, leave me a comment, let me know. I appreciate you guys so, so much. And yeah, I will be back next week to do just the general um, masculine feminine reading. And hopefully at some point I will also be doing one that is specific um, to the masculines within their karmic relationship as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Much love.